leading the way with breaking news. And that breaking news, at least one person has died at the scene of a serious crash in Anderson Township. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palo. Oh, yeah, you were afraid this was going to be the outcome when you saw the images of that car you're going to see here as well. Beachmont Avenue just now reopening right near Five Mile Road. And WLWT News says Chris Jacobs live there at the scene with the very latest on the crash and its impact on traffic tonight. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hey Mike Cherie, and the lanes westbound on Beachmont just opening up within the last five or ten minutes. So that's some good news for people who are really having some headaches, including the Forest Hill School District, who sent out a press release a little bit earlier today saying there were going to be some delays. So the good news there, the westbound lanes on Beachmont are now open again. But go ahead and take a look at some of this video we had a little bit earlier. The accident was cleared about 30 minutes ago. Here's what we know about the crash and what led up to the crash. You can see some of the mangled pieces of that Ford there split in two. We know the car was traveling eastbound on Beachmont. It was going double the speed limit. Now the speed limit here is about 40 miles an hour, so it was going about 80 miles an hour when it crashed. We know the driver at some point, we don't know why though, lost control of the vehicle, rolled over and hit two electrical poles. Again, splitting that car in half as you see right there. Now this was the only car involved and we know of only one victim. Because of this accident, the lanes on Beachmont were closed going westbound a little bit earlier today. But as I mentioned, they are now back open. So that is good news for the travelers in the area who are having to basically navigate their way around the accident. Uh, reporting live in Anderson Township, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5. All right, Chris, thanks for the update. Really appreciate that. Chris live out there on the breaking news. Also tonight, caught on camera.